Emmett. Hello, big fella. Hello. You got your video? Uh, it's dark, so you won't see anything. Oh, let me, wait, oh. I don't get to see anything. What? We don't get to see you. No. Where are you? Yeah, good. Yeah. I got through the worst days on a bicycle. Oh, really? Tough days. Yeah. Tough couple of days. Yeah. yeah. Dogs, crashes, buddy, bonking. Yeah. Sleeping on the side of the road when you've just left your hotel 15 k's down the road. <laughs> yeah, I'm in Marion, just left Marion, I had dinner. Oh, okay. Now, uh, ah. start starting the night shift. The night shift. Yes. Sorry, my tracker hadn't updated, so I was looking backwards, <clears throat> back in time. Oh, just refresh, refresh it. Refresh, bro. Uh, and it'll show you where I am. Marion. Magnificent Marion after a... Hey, Steve. After not such a magnificent day yesterday. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. But, we live to fight another day. Everyone was worried about you. Yeah, well, I was going nowhere fast, that's for sure. Yeah. That's just everything sore, just super tired. What was going on? Again? I said, what was going on? Run us through the day. Oh, it just got super hot. It was a lot of climbing. It was like 4,000 meters of climbing in 200 something Ks. 200, and not even 220 or something. Just the Ozarks. It was nearly 40 degrees, um, yeah, and it went from, you know, the day before I pushed pretty hard and did 400 Ks or whatever, and I was feeling a bit sick because um, I'd gone a bit too too deep because when I pulled over on the side of the road to talk to some dot watchers, I was trying really hard not to throw up all over them. Yeah. And then I was realised, oh, I've got to go easier in the sun. Yeah. Because even though I feel like I can do this in the sun, it's, you know, you burn those matches, you never get them back. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then I continued to burn matches the next day, yeah. trying to extend my lead over this little pack that is now all but past me. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, then I I got into um, this tiny little like resort. Um, I'm trying to remember the name of it. Oh, what was its name? After we, okay. Yeah, it's sort of like in the Ozark national forest thing and um, I wanted to get to bed early so I could start my day at like midnight and I've got this like motel but the guy wasn't there yeah he disappeared and I only had like you know a couple of hours to get my head down spent an hour and a half trying to find him and then I was trying I was like well this isn't good looking for other accommodation it's a big like holiday spot so everyone else is fully booked yeah and then I was like oh, I'm feeling really bad I've got nowhere to put my head down um, I went to the supermarket to get some food because I was gonna have to crack on yeah. And then the lady was like, Are you not staying here tonight? And I told her my woes. Mm. And she knew the guy and had his number. Yeah. 
and phoned him. And thankfully, I got into my room at like 10. Ah, uh, good. And then I was like, oh, now I've got to try and sleep. I'm not getting up at 11. Yeah. So, set my alarm for 12, slept through that, woke up at hops one, was out the door at two, went up the first big hill, maybe did 15 Ks, felt really weird and dizzy and all over the place. Jesus. So, I was like, well, I better get some sleep. Again, yeah. Okay. I should have just turned back and went to my hotel, but you already done. It took me an hours, hour, yeah. an hour and a half, nearly two hours to get to where I was. I was like, I can't be stuffed. Yeah. So I just slept on the side of the road for four hours. Just got molested by flies and all sorts. I tried to cover myself in like a rain jacket and rain pants but yeah. I was sweating like a rapist outside of a primary school yeah. and then uh, just tried to ride and rode, rode so badly the whole day yeah, man. just felt useless yeah. I think I did a, a grand total of 160 k's in something Embarrassingly, yeah. poor is like 17 hours. So you can imagine how things were going that day. Yeah. Then, then got a dog that was probably one of my biggest supporters and a super dot watcher. Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> came to uh, get his autograph. Um, I got a bit freaked out having lost my finger and knuckle to a dog this dog kind of reminded me of him and uh, I was pretty tired and just went off the road into some gravel and crashed yeah. the dog kind of obviously took pity on me at that stage after I tried to beat the shit out of it with my pump <laughs> um, <laughs> just sort of dinged oh, up my arm and Landed on my hip that I'd broken in September Ouch. and my shin. And I was like, well, the hip doesn't hurt that much. My back's a bit sore, but at least we know the hip's strong again. Bike was okay. Got a few scratches. Didn't land um, drive side, so that was good. Yeah. Covered myself in, in dirt and just had to wash myself off. And used some of my water that I needed for drinking, and I was like, "Oh, it's just, just typical." A couple, couple of hours later, I found a McDonald's and just sat in there for a while, feeling sorry for myself. Yeah. And that was the first time that I'd had signal since uh, the night before. Yeah. So, so you. Uh... Tracking slowly, I guess, and with no signal. Yeah. Yeah, it was, it was not a good day, and I think it just messed my, with my mind, and then as soon as your mind kind of goes, you just, you've lost the game. Yeah. So then everyone started catching up, and all that work you put in, just, you kind of feel like it was all for nothing. No, yeah. Uh, uh. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, tough day, mate. Got got to, yeah, tough one. Tough day. Got oh. to. Uh, where did I get to? I think I can't even remember where I slept that night. Yeah. Yeah, and then this morning I was like, you know. Just be a bit smarter in the in the heat. Um, I've slept. You know, I checked in. I decided to check in early at a ho hotel, the Best Western in Chester. Mm -hmm. um, got up at 
Hoppers two. Left at about Hoppers three. Yeah. And uh, yeah, about 240 k's into the day. Yeah. About to start the night shift. And I'm going to have to launch a massive counter attack. Yeah. So I'm bringing out the uh, the Ninja Camel. The Ninja Camel. Long range back. attack. Yeah. I've had to. I've had to call upon the camel again. He's not happy. Not happy. He's not happy about it. Yeah. But uh, he's a good lad. So we're gonna we're just gonna ride through the night and ride till midday tomorrow. Yeah. Um. And we're just gonna go from twelfth place back into back into eighth. Yeah. And then we're just gonna hold them off. Until Yorktown, where the second of three crowns will be placed upon my glorious noggin. The <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> triple crown. I've wow. got so you're in a McDonald's now? Is that where you're at? Or are you... I was in a McDonald's. Oh. I had to leave yeah. and get on the road. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I'm on the road now. Oh, there you go. Now I can see you've just and, uh, Yeah, I've just, just left the city limits of Marion. Yeah. And heading into the darkness. Yeah, we can see. Uh, it's funny, it's just updated on the thing and you're showing you at uh, Shady Grove Cemetery Association. So, Cemetery? Yeah, it's Shady Grove. You just passed Shady Grove. So heading out into the wilderness. Yeah, I'm out into the sticks now. There's all these fireflies just um, sort of going off in the distance. You can just see them all lighting up for a brief moment, a brief second. They just illuminate with a flash of brilliant sort of white light and yeah. disappear. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, we actually, you weren't tripping, so we did actually see the video of it, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, they've been a uh, constant companion every evening mm -hmm. as you start your uh, work at night. They're all there. Well. Lighting your way. Yeah. Celebrating the, the glorious beginning. Yeah. Well, you're in yeah. you're in Kentucky. Yeah, Kentucky, baby. It's the home of the Colonel. Fried chicken. <laughs> well, <laughs> can't wait to meet Mr. Sanders. Yeah. Well, I don't know what you're doing in McDonald's. You're uh, being a bit sacrilegious going to McDonald's then. Yeah. Uh, you you got to take the money, mate. Yeah. Sometimes the sponsors dictate what you do. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I must say I was a bit disappointed with those always ultra thin pads. They oh, were really? just useless. No, La lasted about thirty minutes. Yeah, it was like it was like a lonely sock in a washing machine. <laughs> just ended up, both of them ended up around the front of my thigh, <laughs> having a good old chat to one another, doing absolutely no work. No, oh, no. Whatsoever. So is that because you is that because you is that because you were numb down there or? Yeah, I pretty much covered the boys in um, so much teething gel. It was like I'd had an epidural, and I was numb below the waist. Oh, very good. So giving giving birth to uh, to something, are you? I'm giving birth to. Um, oh. I don't even know what to call it, but it's pretty ugly. Yeah. It looks like it looks like a pack of mints that you pick up at the supermarket. Only it's been dropped on the floor a few times, and then it's got this reduced sticker all over it. <laughs> and it's just reduced stickers, like trying to hold the packaging together. And that's what the the undercarriage looks like. And then the bib shorts is kind of like that tray. That kind of soaks up all the juice. You know, that like white sort of 
juice soaking tray, uh, and it's kind of the the chamois. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, uh, so I can hear oh, one of those wow. lovely dogs. Yeah, I've got my spray gun. Literally, it's on my thigh. If any of these Kentucky animals come near me, there will be a trail of destruction. So, any rider that's behind me doesn't have to worry about dogs in Kentucky anymore. <laughs> you just have to worry about the stench yeah. of roadkill. So, uh, who you are? Who you chasing up the road? Oh, I'm not chasing anyone anymore. No. No. Just going to stick. Try and stick to a plan. I've got my ninja camel mode. Oh. I'm going to. That's the thing. Like they're all going to be dispatched with one, with one camel. Oh, really? Yeah, they're all going tonight. Uh, you obviously, are you feeling better? Are you going to? Is the ninja camel ready? I feel like a colostomy bag that hasn't been changed in a long time. Oh, I don't know if I should be laughing or crying for you. No, I feel all right. Yeah. Yeah, it's coming to the end of, uh, what, 16 days? Yeah, uh, 3,100 miles. Yeah, what's that, 5,000 kilometers? Yeah. Yeah, 5,000 k's. So, I've never gone longer than this before. No, you've uh, in new territory. Yeah, and even doing the the five and a half thousand, he's, he's still. I still have a few off days. So yeah, it's a shame. I've had a few really cock days, injury, and then just body and yeah. messing up the tactics a bit. But hopefully I can um, give you one final brilliant yeah. well, piece of cycling. There's only, um, well, you've only got Tennessee and then Virginia to go, mate. So if you think of it that way. Uh, we just got Virginia, mate. That's it. Are you crossing to Tennessee no. or not? No. No. Looks like here on the map you do, but it's only for a short period. No, oh, we just that... do Kentucky and then Virginia. That's it. Okay. Ah, oh, that's the border. Sorry, oh, sorry, mate. I got this. You got it. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to. Uh... Oh yes. You that's let... it. There you, it you let me navigate. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't interfere. So you know, I can just lead you astray. Uh, it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Well, there it is. One uh, more. One uh, more. It is only one. Yeah. Yeah, one more state. That's fucking awesome. Oh yeah. Well, it's two long... states. I've only just crossed into this yeah. one. And it's, uh, <laughs> yeah. it's a pretty big one. It's a big one. It's a wide one. Plus, uh, plus. Plus, I've got to manage the state that is Rhino. Yeah. And that's a bloody mess at the moment. No. So, three states. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> three Nothing's states. Nothing going over there, mate. Yeah, all good, man, all good. Um, yeah, don't worry about us. We're, we're, we're plodding along. So, uh, just, uh, yeah, just all back here rooting for you and just... Uh, Keen, it's just keen to see you get to this last uh, get through these last two states, and uh, yeah, get uh, get to Yorktown so you can rest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so Marcel finished, and looks like Peter Anderson's not too far away. So. Wow, amazing. Yeah. A thousand k ahead of me. <laughs> Well, it's a big way, mate. It's a long way. Yeah. Yeah, I was looking over the figures going, oh, this is where I lost loads of time. You know, I had four days of 100 Ks. Yeah. Or 150 Ks, you know. So that's, you know, that's 800 Ks lost. 
So when you look at it like that, it's not so bad. No. Yeah. Well, it's monumental regardless. I'll um I'll bid yeah. you farewell via so um say goodbye to your uh, viewers, your listeners to Everyone. Goodbye, listeners. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so useless right now, but things are going to change. Oh. <laughs> Keep on listening. <laughs> things are looking up, aren't they? Things are looking up. You can hear it in my voice. Uh.